Welcome to another episode of the Not Part of Your Seed podcast and video review show where on this video review show I just review comics and books and stuff. Probably movie soon. We'll bring Angelo in. We'll bring all the random people in that, that come in and out of here. Um, you know, depending if it's music or hip-hop or whatever. But now uh, we're going to do a new thing called uh, New Anime Guy. So just because I've uh, really ramped up the comic book stuff um, lately, uh, especially the reading and, and, and um, you know, more than just reading it and putting it in a bag and board and putting it in a box and stuff, um, you know, I start going through some manga and, you know, I have some, I've always had a bunch of friends that have been into um, anime and stuff like that. Uh, so I wanted to sort of dive into it and um, I wasn't sure how. I think that, uh, and so, you know, whether I just walk up and start grabbing stuff or, you know, do what I do with the, with, with comics in general, which is sort of let some of the major awards be my, um, my regulation essentially sort of like puts me on the path, uh, a good path to start. Um, you know, then there's of course, uh, friend recommendations. Then there's of course, uh, you guys, um, would do, uh, you know, tweet me and stuff like that about what's great or whatever. So the path I decided to go was uh, a little bit twofold. We're going to go probably 80%, you know, Eisner awards. Um, uh, I just slipped my mind the other big, uh, comic book awards stuff. And then there's one, uh, uh, there's one Japanese one that um, I'll, I'll follow too and, you know, try to read stuff that, that does get translated. Um, I'm in a car. See? That's crazy, huh? Um, so, you know, f fuck being professional apparently. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to do a series and it'll be videos. I might even do podcasts if I want to, you know, go get more long-winded about it. But I'm going to do a, a series of reviews um, that is going to just basically be the manga that I'm reading. I don't know whether I'll do them like individual. Today I'm not. Today is just a uh, new, you know, new manga reader. And um, I got, you know, I got the, basically I got some pop ones. I'm checking them out of the library because I don't want to buy them. They seem, you know, cheaply made and, and not in color. So I'm, you know, I'm really just diving in and, and trying to give it, trying to give it a try kind of thing. Um, but I checked out a bunch of stuff that was nominated, that won Eisner Awards, that won the Japanese award I was talking about. I really need to find out about that. But instead, you know, to start, I went pretty easy, pretty pop. We're going Attack on Titan. This is volume two. I actually read volume one probably sometime last year. I, and I stopped reading it because I didn't want to buy them. But, you know, the library has them. So we did, this is Attack on Titan. Volume 2, I also started the anime today because I finished Volume 2. And then One Punch Man, uh, Volume 1, and that has an anime out too. And I'll, I'll read that too. So um, I'll just give some thoughts. I'm a new anime reader. I come from, you know, Western comic mindset. Uh, but, you know, I'm in the culture and it's not like, or manga reader. It's not like I've never seen manga or not like I've never read manga either. You know, I've read probably a dozen or two dozen um, you know, little books that look like this, um, over the course of, uh, you know, my reading career. Uh, and, uh, I think one of my favorite parts, one of my favorite uses of manga, and I guess this would work for comics too, but I would always grab manga is, uh, when I was learning Polish and, um, and, and Spanish, which I did order a few of these in Spanish in Yuasha that I'm familiar with. So I ordered it in Spanish, you know, to practice, um, my Spanish and my Polish, I would buy manga in Poland and then it's easy to find Spanish manga here. So let's go into it. So Attack on Titan, um, I wasn't super impressed with the first volume. It seemed like it was meeting all my manga tropes, the, the stereotypes that I, I thought about manga from the beginning. And, um, and I also read uh, This Is Kill, which was nominated. And, and, it, and it had a, the same feeling, you know, like, we are trading to defeat these monsters, you know. And, of course, This Is Kill was more space, and, and Attack on Titan is, um, you know, more ground level, not uh, technologically advanced, except for, you know, the fighters seem to have used uh, interesting technology. 
Um, so the first one was okay, but it was like, I'm not going to drop 10 bucks on it. I can drop $10 and get like a Warren Ellis trade paperback from Image or something. Those are $9.99, the first ones, you know? And this one started much the same, you know? Um, you know, we got into the past. I, I actually forgot what had happened. It really helped to have, you know, the normal manga introduction thing here. And um, we find out, here's the spoiler sections. We find out about um, Aaron's past with uh, Masuka, who, I'm, I think I just pronounced that wrong. Uh, Mikasa. We find out Aaron's past with Mikasa and their violent past. and. And Mikasa actually doesn't know Aaron's dead the whole time. And the twist that he died in the first one. The twist was really good in this one, I have to say. that The way it worked out was very entertaining um, at the end. And it's if I would have bought Volume 2, if I'd have said, oh, screw it. Or if they would have been on sale or something, I'd have bought Volume 2. I definitely would have bought Volume 3. So I, I did enjoy Volume 2. Um, I, all the all the stereotype, the anime tropes and stuff, but hey, it is definitely, it's a pop anime. It's, you know, something very, very popular, um, very violent. The other thing I just wanted to mention, the Titans look like white dudes. And I, maybe I should look that up. Maybe that's on purpose. I don't know. But it feels like it's uh, that Western style uh, person uh, basically eating what I assume are Japanese people. Um, so that's a little bit weird. And if that were like sort of pop and even though it's violent and, and, and mature, um, you know, if, if that were sort of still pop and, and, you know, typical anime, this is on another level. I don't know if you should look at the number. I don't know if the number for the library at my local library is important. One Punch Man, you know, who the anime tries to get sold to me on Hulu or Netflix or rather pretty often. One Punch Man, I guess, started as a webcomic, and you can really tell, because it's really tongue-in-cheek, light-hearted. Um, I think it's a pretty good idea as far as, okay, a guy so powerful, he just beats up every single villain that comes by him, and the villains all feel like, you know, Power Rangers, Voltron-type easy villains to defeat, but um, a guy so powerful that that happens, you know. And so that, that gag works for, the you know, the first two episodes or parts and then it gets sort of lame and then you know he starts getting a follower type guy and then there's a a little portion in the past um so just because it's free i'll continue reading it it's a pop book it was sort of lighthearted and funny um so i will go take a look at it again and um and you know i'll probably I'll, I'll try to stay whether i like it or not i'll try to stay with this one through five or six volumes and um, we'll see how I do the reviews if I do them, put it together. Anyway, that's my new to manga thing. I got a lot of stuff coming in, like Goodnight Pun Pun. I'm excited uh, to read that. I have something, History of Japanese, um, something called 20th Century Boys. So a lot of stuff nominated. I can't wait to get to that. Uh, remember, you can find me at Chris Sarda on both Instagram and Twitter. Please uh, go down here and subscribe to the channel and even hit alerts if you want to find out whenever I put out something new. I'm going to be posting a lot um, today. Uh, it's new comic day, so I'm going to make sure I churn those out. Um, and that's about it. You can go to notpartofyourscene.com. Uh, we'll start posting some stuff about music there and uh, look out for the DC previews. The Marvel previews came out today. Thank you for watching. Uh, new manga reader guy, 